Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Mullane, and today I'd like to share with you the most common causes of neck pain, and in my experience, the best ways to alleviate that neck pain. Now, neck pain typically occurs due to two reasons, major trauma and minor trauma. Major trauma would be something along the lines of a car accident or a fall, whereas minor trauma would be more of your repetitive activities such as bending, turning, lifting, or even repetitive activities such as sitting for long periods of time. These would be considered the minor trauma. Now, when you have a neck injury, typically we see three structures involved. The first being the joints, the second being nerves, and then finally the disc in the neck can get injured. First, let's talk a little bit about the joints. Now, the joints are essentially where two bones come together, and when it's functioning properly, you'll be able to move and you won't have any discomfort, but when there's some instability or restriction to that joint, or even pressure onto that joint, it can create pain, it can cause muscle spasms and muscle tension into that associated area, and it can also restrict your motion. You won't be able to turn or bend or twist your, your neck like you normally would. Now, you can also get pressure onto the nerves. You can even get a pinched nerve. Now, the nerves in the neck, they run out to the shoulders and actually down to the arms and the fingertips. Um, we see different patterns of pain when the nerves are affected. Sometimes patients tell us that they feel numbing and burning and even cold or tingling sensations, um, as well as we hear sore, achy, stiff. So there's a lot of different you know, ways that the nerves can get affected, and it may just stay in the neck, but it can also, like we said, kind of travel down the arms. And then finally, the disc into the neck. Now the disc, it separates two um, bones in through the neck, and when there's pressure onto the discs, we typically see it in the form of like a disc bulge or a disc herniation. But what it'll do, it'll, it'll again, it'll put pressure on the surrounding structures. Um, it can also um, restrict your motion and cause muscle tension and muscle spasms. So there's a few different reasons why you can have um, neck pain when there's an injury to the neck. So essentially the three most common symptoms that we hear are we hear pain. Um, it could be in a lot of different forms as we talked about, but we'll also see some muscle spasms and muscle tension. And then finally, we're gonna see some restricted motion. You won't be able to move as, as freely or turn or, or look over your shoulder as well as you'd like to. Now, in my experience, there's three very common treatments that we like to use that are very effective in treating these conditions. Um, the first would be chiropractic spinal manipulation. The second being electrical muscle stimulation, and the third being intersegmental traction therapy. Now, the first, um, chiropractic spinal manipulation. This is applied in a very specific manner, and what it's going to do is going to reduce any pressure, whether it's on the joints or the nerves, um, or even the disc into that neck region, and alleviate any pain associated with that. So now you'll be able to turn your neck a little bit better. You won't have as much pain, and the muscle spasms will be, you know much more relaxed and you won't be able to have as much tension uh, in through those muscles. The second thing that uh, kind of leads right into it is electrical muscle stimulation. Now this therapy applies a gentle electrical current to the neck and shoulder muscles and to alleviate any muscle spasms um, also any swelling or inflammation will be reduced with this therapy. So again it's going to decrease the, the muscles and the pain and it'll also allow you to, to turn better. And then finally the intersegmental traction therapy. Now this therapy essentially tractions the joints away from one another, opening up a little bit more space to alleviate any of that pressure that's on those, those structures. Um, this will again allow you to um, you know, turn and bend and turn and twist your neck without that restriction. It's also going to reduce the pain and muscle spasms as well. So kind of in summary, when these three therapies are used together, they can effectively stop or reduce pain right away. Um, they're going to allow you to move a little bit better and they're also going to reduce any muscle spasms or muscle tension associated with that neck and shoulder region. So what does this mean to you? This means a few things. This means you're going to be able to go off to work and do your job activities and duties a little bit more effectively. You won't have as many restrictions. You know, it's essential that we turn our neck and a lot of different uh, reasons at work, and this way you won't have to worry about, you know, that being restricted. The second thing it's going to help with is sleep at night. You're going to be able to fall asleep a little bit better. You're going to be able to wake up a little bit easier. And even when you kind of turn from side to side in the middle of the night, it's now not going to wake you up. You're going to get that deep sleep. You're going to get a good night's rest and just be more refreshed in the morning. And then finally, one of the other things that's going to help with are your daily activities, whether it's brushing your hair or, or your teeth or getting dressed in the morning or even playing with your kids throughout the day. This is now going to be um, something you can do effectively without the pain restricting you, without you know, the muscles being so tight and, and into a spasm. And also, you're just going to be able to move a whole lot easier. So if you definitely are experiencing any of these symptoms or have a neck injury, 
please give us a call so that we can help you. You can reach us at 803-599-5902.